Hey, my name is James Dickerson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is all about five investment principles that will make you wealthy. So make sure you stick around to the end to get all five. Now, I'm James, as I said, and I'm currently on a journey to grow my property portfolio. And I want to invite you along to join me on this journey. Now, I'm building a portfolio for myself and my two daughters, Georgia, who's 21, Emily, who's one. We've already bought a property in Doncaster uh, for Georgia. We're just about to buy our second property. I've already got a portfolio as well. And we're going to teach you everything. We're going to show you everything that happens on that journey, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So to join us on the journey, very easily take that finger of power, spin it round, smash that subscribe button over there, guys, and hit the bell notification. Now, let's talk about what makes you wealthy. Now, this is gonna be very interesting because some of this to some of you will seem very obvious, but I've got some very intelligent friends and they don't really understand these principles. And so that's what I wanna cover here uh, and, and see any questions or opinions you've got, definitely comment below. I wanna hear what you guys think. So you're probably thinking I'm gonna talk about property first, hence it's a property channel, but I'm not. One way that you can get wealthy is stocks, but in a very measured way, right? I have lost a ton of money on stocks and shares in the past. I used to work as a recruitment consultant, and back in the day, everyone, we had a client, they were Tele West, that's now Virgin Media, and everyone was like, you need to buy some Tele West shares, they're going to really explode, they've got this great big contract on, and I put money into Tele West and lost it all when they pretty much went bust and then got saved by Virgin, right? And I bought some Weatherspoon shares and for five or six years, they didn't even go up a penny and I used to get dividend checks for like 11 pence. I was too embarrassed to cash them in. That's not the right way to invest by picking individual stocks. What you want to do is get something called an index tracker. And so in the UK, the biggest stock market is called the FTSE 100. And you can buy a tracker and you can put £100 in and it will buy an equal amount of all of those 100 companies. Now, some will overperform and some will underperform. But on average, the stock market doubles every seven years, right? It doubles every seven years. So if you put your money in there, you're going to get a very, very good return. And you should just be buying on a regular basis. They call it in America dollar cost averaging. Uh, and that means that you are covered if the market goes up or down. Uh, and that is a good way to make very good money. You make like around 10% a year on that, which is very, very good. So stocks are a good way to get wealthy, but not if you buy individual ones. You're not Warren Buffett. Buy the simple straight way. Now, next is obviously property, right? Property is the asset class that I love the best. And that's because it pays you twice. Now, what does that mean? Well, it pays you with income, with rent. And if you want to be financially free, I've just shot a video on that, which will be out before this one, the day before. Um, but if you want to get financial freedom, you need to get income that covers your bills. Uh, and rent is the easiest way to do that. It gives you a passive income that will come in forever and ever and ever. And even after you are gone, which is what I'm doing, building a portfolio for my daughters, they will still get paid rent as well, right? Which is really, really important. Now, the other way that property makes very good money is through capital appreciation, right? And so my properties have all gone up. They say property doubles every 10 years. I've experienced that. In fact, in Dorking, I've experienced some faster growth than that. I bought for 45 grand. Now I've got a property that's worth 250. 22 years later, that's five times, more than five times the initial amount I invested, which is insane. Uh, so property investing is very, very good. This channel has tons of videos on that. You don't need huge pots of money. You can do something called rent to rent, where you rent a property, then rent out on Airbnb. That You might think, oh my God, that sounds illegal. It's not. Go and watch the videos on the channel about that. Uh, you can do rent to HMO, where you rent out on a room by room basis. Again, there's videos on the channel all about that. There's different strategies for different levels of investor uh, and depending on what stage they're at. Now, property is a very good way to get wealthy, obviously. Now, another thing to understand if you want to get wealthy is that debt is good, right? Debt is really good if it's the right kind of debt. Credit card debt <coughs> is awful, right? Credit card debt, very expensive. 
You shouldn't be going, oh, I'm, I'm doing lots of credit card debt. Mortgage debt though is very, very good. The rates on mortgage debt <coughs> is incredibly low and <coughs> it gets paid off by the tenant, right? So the tenant is gonna pay you rent. That rent is gonna be used to pay the mortgage and you keep the difference. And so the more debt that you have, is very, very good, particularly at the moment where we've got high inflation, the debt is getting eroded by inflation. So they say inflation is at 10% at the moment. Now, that means that if you borrow 100 grand, in real world terms, that debt, is the value of that debt is gonna be similar to 90,000 next year, which is really good. So I'm looking to get as much debt as I can while inflation is high and interest rates are low. Other people will pay that off because they'll be paying me rent. So debt is very, very good to become wealthy. Now, savings, not so good. Uh, and so people that are super successful and super wealthy, they don't sit on lots of money. In fact, Elon Musk talks about this quite often. He doesn't have billions of pounds or dollars sitting in the bank. He puts that money to work. So he puts it to work in SpaceX or Tesla, which are his businesses. Now, other people put their money to work in property. And so you can use savings and put them into property or stocks if you do it the right way. You don't want to have loads of money sitting in the bank, particularly now where inflation is eroding your savings. So the buying power of your savings has lost 10% this year. If that continues over and over and over, it's just going to be worthless, the money that you've got in there. So use that money and put it to work. That's what super successful wealthy people will do. Next is the power of compounding, right? When you really understand this, property, stocks, anything that you're making money on gets easier and easier and easier over time. Look at a compounding interest calculator. Go and find one on Google and just put in how much if the if if it goes up by 2% a year or 5% a year or 11% a year, see the differences and see that a small amount of money invested can turn into a very, very big pot of money uh, very fast. It starts slow, but it gets very, very fast and compounding interest. Warren Buffett says it's the ninth wonder of the world or the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, and that is really, really true. And so I want you to really look at a compounding interest calculator and see if I put a thousand pounds away a month here into an investment that's growing at 10%, what does that mean for me in five years, 10 years, 20 years? It shoots up really, really fast eventually. Uh, and I think you should go and check that out. So these are five things that will make you more wealthy. I'd love to know your thoughts on that by your comments below. Like this video, guys. Do go and check out all the other content on the channel. We've made tons of videos. We've got nearly 150 videos on this channel now. And I'd love you to go and watch those. And also go and check out this video right here.